there are no wealthy black or brown people in America. We got some rich ones, we don't got no fucking wealth. People go, oh, what's the difference? Here's the difference. Shaq is rich. The white man that signs his check is wealthy. And so that's what I'm like, yeah, you know what? That is exactly right. I want to be that guy. Ball out. We ball out. Ball out. Ball out. Actually, you know who, who made me think about that was, I think it was Chris Rock and his stand-up thing, and he was like... There are no wealthy black or brown people in America. We got some rich ones, we don't got no fucking wealth. People go, oh, what's the difference? Here's the difference. Shaq is rich. The white man that signs his check is wealthy. And so that's when I'm like, yeah, you know what? That is exactly right. I want to be that guy. You know, like it's cool being, you know, being paid and, and all that stuff, but I want to be the guy that's writing the checks. And, you know, that's kind of w where my mindset has shifted in terms of, of, you know, my goals in life. My great great grandfather um, was a landowner in the South. So, as you can imagine, um, that's super inspirational uh, at a time where uh, African American people uh, didn't have a ton of ownership. Uh, and for him to provide for, you know, my family lineage through real estate was, was incredible. So that was a big one. Secondly, a scholarship donor at Stanford, um, John Arriaga, was a big real estate developer up in the Bay Area, uh, and he exposed me to you know commercial real estate at scale, uh, which you know over my 15-year playing career, you know I was able to, to, to navigate and see a little bit more from that side. So when I retired, for me it was a no-brainer to get into real estate. As as an athlete. Uh, coming from where I came from, you know, traveling the world, playing all over the place, uh, you know, I just envisioned myself as not having limits. Uh, I, I thought that you know, having the ability to go from Compton to Stanford to you know to everywhere else, uh, you know, I was able to do things that you know I couldn't couldn't have dreamed of as a kid. Uh, and so when I put my, put my mind to something and set my sights on something. Uh, you know, it's almost like a why not mentality. Why, why not me? Uh, why can't I? Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to limit myself based on preconceived notions. I'm going to go out there and give it my best. And, um, you know, that's what I've done, you know, in the, in the three years of my company's existence and, you know, hopefully continue to build that over time. To have a, a great portfolio, I mean, the cities that i played in in the States, Atlanta, Phoenix, Brooklyn, um, I mean, those cities have grown tremendously over the over the years, uh, and if I had my company, you know, during those times, I would have been been in the markets that you know have done really well over the last 10 or 12 years. Um, but I started when I started, and you know, I'm going to continue to build and and uh, you know leverage my platform, my resources to you know source interesting opportunities, and you know hopefully have you know a pretty pretty sizable portfolio over the next 10 to 15 years. A group of buddies of mine and I um, are part owners of a team in Australia, Southeast Melbourne, Phoenix. Um, I played in Australia for three years, and so I just know the, the, the landscape over there a bit. When the opportunity presented itself, um, you know, the entire ownership group is pretty much based here in L.A. Um, guys that I know, some real estate guys, uh, myself, Al Harrington, Zach Randolph, John Wall. Um, so some some NBA connectivity. This is a great opportunity for us to you know take that next step. You know we we played for a number of years. John is still playing, um, and you know to be a part of a basketball team, you know, and help guide that basketball team and help that grow, you know, is I think what a lot of you know pro athletes aspire to do. And you know we just had an opportunity in Australia. The team is not based in, in LA. It's the, the ownership group yeah. for the most part is. Um, you know so having. Having guys that you, you know, I can go to the majority owner's house and, you know, have dinner and talk through things. I can go to Al's house and Zach's house. and So it, it, it's different in that regard when you're doing it with friends. Um, you know, if it was just some random group that, that put a bid in, you know, maybe I, I wouldn't, you know, take that opportunity on. But, you know, trying to build something with your friends is always pretty, pretty fun. Definitely an early exposure for me um, in 
you know, how to navigate the tax world. Um, you know, one of the, the bonuses of playing overseas is that typically, you know, the, the, the teams pay your, your local taxes. And so when you uh, come back home, you offset that, you know, by your state taxes. Uh, and at the time I was a Nevada resident, and so I was able to, uh, you know, get most of my taxes, uh, you know, covered, uh, you know, and, and that, that obviously increased my, you know, the, the amount I was able to earn. So uh, it was a, a great lesson, a great learning experience, and, uh, you know, thankful that I went through that. Uh, and I, I still came back and played some years in, in the NBA um, after that. But yeah, it was a, a great learning experience for sure. That's my goal. Uh, I set out, that was a big part of my motivation in starting the company. And you know, really creating a, a business that I, I own and operate is, you know, I, I want to make more on, the, on more off the court than I made on the court, and you know, not that it's all about money; it's about building. But um, you know, it's, it's always nice to have financial goals in what you're doing, and that's that is my goal. It's, it's much more than that for, for us and for me. Um, you know, even our, our name, Landspire, is to inspire change through land development and land land investment. And so um, that's a big part of what we do and why we do it. Uh, and I'd be doing myself and my community a disservice if it was only about the money. Um, you know, that's a, an important piece of it. You have to have some sort of commercial benefit, but it's not its not the only reason. It's it, Like I said, it's, it's about that representation and being in communities like the ones I grew up in. Here.